Hey everyone, welcome. I made this a, a quick video to show you my process of how I go about uh, cleaning up my iMovie files and trying to regain some space on my hard drive. If you're like myself and you're a heavy iMovie user, you know uh, it consumes up a lot of hard drive space even after you have deleted uh, the project uh, from within the app. Myself, I uh, export the files to external hard drives. I never export them to my uh, to my uh, direct hard drive. And after that, I uh, come into the app and delete uh, the project. But over the years, I found out that that wasn't that wasn't helping because I was losing a lot of hard drive space. And after our research, I found out that iMovie still uh, say, keeps uh, the rendering files on your hard drive. So I'm going to take you through the process of how I clean it up. Now, I could be doing this the wrong way or the, or the long way. So feel, please feel free to comment. Let me know. Uh, I'm always happy to hear from you guys. I, I want to he uh, learn from you guys as well. I know your processes. Maybe we can you know, help everyone else out there. So this is what I do. So this is my, I, I know I move in, this is my projects. I'm just going to go into the projects section. So here are all my projects. So uh, as you can see, I don't rename my projects. I just leave them as the default name. I, uh, I rename the uh, final uh, video when I export it. So I'm just going to go into these four dots here, and then I'm going to click on delete project. Now I want to continue. Now as you can see, it's gone. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Finder and take you to where uh, iMovie stores the rendering files. So I'm just going to go to Go and click on Home. And here it is here under under the iMovie folder. This is this here is the uh, is this here uh, the library. I'm going to right click and um, click on Show Package Contents. Okay. Now here are my movie files, and this is how much space it's taken up. Just imagine that building up over the years, um, like it did for me. Uh, this is uh, this is just a cut. Uh, this is after I've cleaned out quite a bit, so that's going to take up a lot of space on your hard drive, you know, over the years. So now, as you can see, movie my movie fifty nine. I removed it. Remember, I deleted it from the library. It's gone from here, but it's still on my hard drive, and that's one hundred and forty seven meg that I could regain. So what I do now is I right click and I say move to bin. Now, you got to remember the bin is still your hard drive, so you go into the bin and you right click and delete that as well. Done. Now, there's something else I need to show you. I'm going to close, actually, go here. I'm going to close uh, iMovie because I want to show you what actually happens now that we did that. I'm going to exit out of iMovie, quit iMovie. Okay. Now I'm going to go into applications and reopen iMovie again. I want to show you something. Because we did that, we're going to get this pop up. Now don't be afraid, it's still looking for the uh, My Movie 50. And all I do is I just click on repair, and then it just repairs the library again, and that's it. You're back to your normal iMovie. Now let me show you another way I access those uh, render files within um, within the iMovie app. I'm just going to go um, into one of my projects and I'm going to uh, click on iMovie library then right click on it and go to reveal in uh, in finder and there it is there that iMovie library right click and show package contents and there it is there. So that's just another way of accessing uh, that previous location I showed you through through uh, Finder, but this one I act, I did it through uh, I, the iMovie um, app itself. That's it, guys. I hope you got something out of that. I hope it'll help you clean up your hard drive and get some uh, you know clean some of your hard drive space back. Please feel free to comment below with any suggestions or feedback. I'm always happy to hear from you guys. If you're new to my channel. Please hit that subscribe button and that bell icon to be notified of more videos. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. It will certainly help um, on the platform. Yes, until next time again, guys, uh, take care and um, thanks for watching.